solve this system of equation by elimination. Okay, so to do that, let's first start by saying uh, this is equation one, this here is equation two, and this one here is equation three. So I can opt to eliminate x in the first two equations or z in the first and third equation because they don't have um, a coefficient or rather they have a coefficient which is one. So let me pick equation one and two. So equation one is x plus y minus z is equal to four. Equation two is x minus two y plus three z is equal to minus six. So since uh, x has the same sign, which is a positive, I can opt to subtract the two. So x minus x, zero, hence x is eliminated. Y minus negative y should give us positive 3y. Negative z minus 3z should give us a minus 4z. And all this is equal to 4 minus minus 4 is positive 10. So 3y minus 4z is equal to 10. Let's call this equation number 4. Now that we have equation number 4, let's see how we can create equation number 5. To form equation number five, I can choose a pair of equation one and two or two and three. Sorry, equation one and three or two and three. So I'll go for equations two and three. So equation two is x minus two y plus three z. All oh, this is equal to negative six. Two x plus three y plus z is equal to seven. Now, for these two equations, they do not have the same coefficient in terms of x. So I need to multiply this equation by 2, this equation by 1. If I do that, let's see what we get. Multiplying this equation by 2 will give us 2x minus 4y uh, plus uh, 6z. And all this is equal to negative 12. Multiplying this equation by 1 does not affect anything, so we just have 2x plus 3y plus z is equal to 7. So now x has the same coefficient, and since the signs are the same, I can simply subtract them. 2x minus 2x is 0, uh, negative 4x, sorry, negative 4y minus 3y should give us negative 7y. 6z minus z is 5 z negative 12 uh, minus 7 should give us negative 19 so if that's the case uh, this equation is 3 sorry 7y plus 5z all this is equals to negative 19 this is our equation number 5 equation number 4 and 5 we can solve them simultaneously of course we'll use elimination method so minus 4z is equals to 10. Then the other equation is minus 7y plus 5z. All this is equals to minus 19. Now at this stage, we can see that we don't have a common coefficient. So what we can do is um, I'll multiply this equation by 5. I'll multiply this equation by 4 so that if I multiply this 4 by 5, I'll get a 20 for z. Multiply this 5 by 4, I get a 20 for z. Then z can be eliminated. So, multiplying uh, the first equation by 5, let's see what we get. We we'll get uh, 15y. 5 minus 4 is 20z. And this side will have 50. Right. For the other equation, uh, 7 times 4 will give us 28, but it's a negative. 5 times 4 will give us 20. And uh, 19 times 4 will give us negative 7, 6. So now we can see that z has the same coefficient. No one is positive, the other is negative. So since the signs are different, we can add them. Negative 28 plus 15 will be negative 13y. Negative z, negative 20z plus 20z will give us a 0. On this side, if we add the 2, we'll get negative 26. So, 
from this we can clearly see that negative 13y is equals to negative 26. So we can find the value of y. y is equals to positive 2. Okay, so we have y. How do we find z? Find z, we can choose any of these two equations, either equation 4 or 5. So let's choose 3. Sorry, let's choose 4. Equation 4 is 3y minus 4z is equal to 10. y is 2. So 3 times 2 minus 4z is equal to 10. This gives us 6 minus 4z is equal to 10. Negative 4z is equal to 10. So this 6 can go to the other side and become uh, a negative like that. This gives us negative 4z is equal to 4. Hence, z is negative 1. To find the value of x, we can choose any of the three equations. So let me choose the first one. By making x a subject to the formula, I'll get x is equal to 4 minus y plus z. Okay, so x is equal to 4, our y is 2, and our z is negative 1. So x will be equal to 2 minus 1, so x is 1. So there we have it. This is how we solve this equation by elimination. Thank you very much.